Hello students, in chapter 3, physical layer, our next topic is about the analog signals. In the previous topics, we will discuss about what is data and what is signals. Now here, in this topic, we will discuss about the analog signals. How we represent an analog signals? What are the main characteristics of an analog signals? Let's go in detail. Mainly, periodic analog signals can be classified as the simple or composite. In the last we discussed, our analog signals takes an infinite level of intensities. Infinite intensities levels. We represent an analog signal this way and it take infinite values. This one take infinite values because sometimes the frequency according to time or the amplitude according to time is very low and sometimes it is very high. In this way, analog signals is represented in two ways. One is simple periodic signals and second is the composite periodic signals. Simple means simply we can represent them and composite means composite is a combination of two or three signal waves or sine waves. Mainly, our analog signals are represented in the form of sine waves. This is a sine wave. This is the sine wave. Sine wave is the representation of analog periodic signals. Means, when we are speaking or someone speaks, a wave is generated in the air and that wave is actually represented in the analog periodic signal. Okay. So, a sine wave can be represented with the three parameters. Means when we are representing something in the form of something, then we need to, if you want to study about that, we need to some characteristics or components of that one. In the same way, the sine wave has three parameters. These three parameters are the characteristics of analog periodic signals. First one is the peak amplitude, second is the frequency, and third one is the phase. We will discuss all these in a detailed manner. First one, if we talk about the amplitude, mainly amplitude is or we call that one as the peak amplitude. Amplitude is the value of the signal at different instants of times. Value of the signal at different instants of time. Here you see this is the sine wave. This is the sine wave. This is if we call this one as 1 and this one is the 2. This is the peak value, this peak value of this one according to its amplitude. Peak value of this one is the, is the peak amplitude, peak amplitude at different instants of time. When this wave is in the form, this wave form here, this form, this is represented after some period. So, this is the peak value and when we go here, this wave have not a specific high amplitude value have low amplitude value have low amplitude value so this one have a low amplitude value so at different instants of time the value of the signal is called the is called the amplitude at different instant of times different values a sine wave can have and that are called the amplitude values of the wave or amplitude value of the signals and this one is generally measured in the form of volts because we represent a signal in the form of either electrical form or either in the either in the optical form peak amplitude means like different uh, voltage levels we will give this is plus 5 voltage this is minus 5 voltage or the zero voltage according to that what are the amplitude value at different instants of time our different voltage values at different instant of time that we call that one as the amplitude of that signals amplitude of that signals next is period period is the amount of time a signal needs to complete one cycle this is a sine wave and this one is a cycle we called this particular wave is a cycle this this thing is a one cycle of a sine wave this is one cycle of a sine wave and how much time a signal take to complete this one cycle is called the period of the signal is called the period period means amount of time needed by a sine wave to complete this one cycle 
and period is normally expressed in the form of seconds because it is a time because it is time how many seconds a sine wave will take to complete one cycle is the period for example this one take 4 seconds so 4 second is the period of this cycle next time in the different representation this one take 3 seconds so 3 seconds is the period of that cycle 2 seconds 2 seconds is the period of that cycle okay frequency frequency of a wave is the number of cycle completed in one second number of cycle completed in one second number of cycles means here you see in this you see this is a one cycle completed here now here one cycle is completed so this is the period so this is the this is the period number of seconds taken to complete one period and how many cycles are completed in one second how many cycles are completed in one second for example here this is one second time and number of cycle completed in one second is called the frequency is called the frequency in one second how many numbers of cycles are completed this is frequency and one cycle how much seconds take to complete that is period so here you see this is one second of time here this one completed 12 cycles in one second 12 cycles in one second but here the wave completed only six cycles in one second six cycles in one second so according to that the frequency is different according here the frequency and period is different here the frequency and period is different here the frequency and period is different okay frequency is mainly expressed in the form of hertz which is cycles per second hertz which is cycle per second now frequency and period have a very beautiful relation here you can see frequency and period are the inverse of each other frequency and period are the inverse of each other why because period means cycle completed in seconds and frequency is frequency is in one second how many cycles are completed so you can say frequency is inversely proportional to the time or time is inversely proportional to time is inverse inversely proportional to the frequency okay if you can say that frequency is the rate of change with respect to time why we say rate of change because for different signals frequency is different sometimes in one second that uh, wave will complete four cycles sometimes that signal uh, will complete six uh, cycles in one second sometimes 12 cycles in one second sometimes 10 cycles in one second so frequency is mainly the rate of change with respect to time rate of change with respect to time here some important points related to frequency are change in a short span of time change in a short span of time means high frequency high frequency okay and change over a long span of time means low frequency low frequency okay here it is saying if you say high frequency means short span of time means you are completed a 15 cycles in one second means that means your frequency is inversely proportional this is 1 by 15 small or you can say uh, sorry your uh, things this one here, this one come here your frequency is low 15 cycles okay or you comes here when six cycles comes here so that means frequency is 1 by 6 means you have high frequency your cycle are completed in a high period your cycles are completed in a high period and one second how many cycles are completed that is frequency if more cycles are completed if more and more cycles are completed frequency is low if last number of cycles are completed frequency is high frequency is high if a signal does not change at all if, if a signal does not change at all means there is no moment in the signal there is no moment in the signals you can say your cycle will never complete your cycle will never complete and frequency is zero hertz or your 
सिग्नल इज चेंजिंग इंस्टेंटेनियसली योर सिग्नल इज चेंज इंस्टेंटेनियसली मीन्स टाइम टू टाइम वेरी फास्टली इज चेंजिंग ओके मीन्स यू कैन से एवरी माइक्रो सेकेंड और एवरी मिली सेकेंड योर सिग्नल इज गोइंग चेंज एंड दैट मीन्स योर पीरियड इज जियो साइकिल विल कंप्लीट आइदर यू ब्लिंक एन आई ओके मीन्स योर पीरियड इज जीरो दैट टाइम द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज इन फाइनाइट that time frequency is infinite means number of cycles are completed in very short span of times very very short span of time that means your period is nearly equal to zero then you can say your frequency is equal to infinite your frequency is infinite okay let's see some questions on the analog signal asked in different exams here the question is this question is based on the relation between the frequency and time this question is based on the relation between frequency and time if the period of the signal is 100 millisecond then what is the frequency in kilohertz what is the frequency in kilohertz mainly if time is in 100 millisecond 100 milliseconds so if you want to convert this one into seconds then we can easily complete 100 by 1000 Seconds, or you can say it is one by ten second, or if you want to represent this one, it is zero point one second. If this one is zero point one second, now frequency is inversely proportional to time. Frequency is inversely proportional to time. This one is if we will take this relation, if we will take this relation, that is one by one by ten. So this one. is comes into 10 hertz period is in the form of seconds frequency is in the form of hertz so here this our answer in the form of hertz if we want to convert this one into kilohertz kilohertz so to convert kilohertz we need to change this one so 10 by 1000 so this one is 1 by 100 kilohertz or you can say this one is 10 ki power minus 2 kilohertz 10 power minus 2 kilohertz when the period is given in milliseconds you can convert that one into second and find the frequency in the form of hertz if some other form is asked kilohertz or megahertz then you can convert that one into from hertz to kilohertz from hertz to kilohertz so we can easily convert any type of any type of measurement so this is all about the analog signals we discussed the things of the analog signal about the period and frequency the next characteristic is the phase next characteristic is the phase now phase phase is mainly described the position of the wave form relative to time zero relative to time zero means at the time zero your wave is started from which position that is an angle angle okay and this one is represented or measured in the form of degrees or in the form of radian here zero degree zero degree means this is time zero and your signal is also generated from the origin time is zero and your signal is also on originated your wave or take the wave from the origin so means this is zero degree zero degree from a zero value or from the origin of the time series or time representation frequency amplitude time domain or frequency time domain so we can say this is a zero degree phase when your wave half 1 by 4th of the wave is passed or your uh, wave is started from a high amplitude value or peak amplitude value peak amplitude value your cycles first part is complete started from the peak amplitude value then you can say your phase is 90 degree your phase is 90 degree your 1 by 4th of the wave is passed so you can say go beyond the origin go beyond the origin your 1/4 of the wave is beyond the origin you cannot measure this one after positive values this one is coming in the negative values that we can say that our phase is 90 degree here 
when half of the wave is passed from the origin passed from the origin or beyond the origin then you can say your phase is 180 degree or you can we can also measure this one if your wave is this way this way here this one is coming from the negative value then you can say this is 270 degree this is 270 degree here is the period completed and the next cycle is coming here here is the period completed the next cycle is coming here here your phase is 270 degree means we measure generally the phase according to the position of the wave relative to time zero at origin point your wave is starting with what value of the amplitude that is mainly measured in the form of degree and that measurement is a phase that measurement is a phase okay so these are the characteristics of the analog signal or the sine waves we discussed three main characteristics first one we discussed about the amplitude amplitude is the different values at different instants of times at amplitude it's measured in the form of volts next we discussed time and the frequency and now we discussed the phase these are the three main characteristics of our analog periodic signals now we will see some previous year questions here this is a question from the net exam in december 2004 the period of the signal is 10 millisecond then what is the frequency in heart same as teach same as teach the previous questions here the time period is given as 10 millisecond now we want answer in the form of hertz we can easily convert this millisecond into second now convert this milli now the convert this millisecond convert this millisecond into second so 10 millisecond divided by thousand then this one becomes seconds and 1 by 100 second or you can say this is 10 key power minus 2 second you can measure this one in form now we know frequency is inversely proportional to time the relation between period and frequency is frequency is inversely proportional to period frequency is inversely proportional to period so this way our period is 1 by 1 by 100 and this 100 goes upside and this one becomes in the form of hertz so the frequency is in 100 hertz if the period is 10 millisecond then the corresponding frequency is inversely proportional to the period and that is equal to 100 hertz so this type of questions may be asked in your exams gate exam net exam isro exam or maybe in any t exams